In this video, I'll be looking at polar and non-polar covalent bonds. We'll start with a review of electronegativity. Electronegativity is a measure of the attraction of an atom for a bonding pair of electrons. Electronegativity is measured on the Pauling scale, which assigns fluorine the highest value and francium the lowest. So the trend in the periodic table is electronegativity increases across a period and decreases down a group. Next we look how the electronegativity difference between two atoms in a bond affects the type of bonding. So if the electronegativity difference is between 0 and 0 0.4 units, the type of bonding is non-polar covalent. If the electronegativity difference is between 0 0.5 and 1.7 units, the type of bonding is polar covalent. And if the electronegativity difference is equal to or greater than 1.8 units, the type of bonding is ionic. Non-polar covalent bonds have equal sharing of electrons. Polar covalent bonds have unequal sharing of electrons. And next we'll have a look at an example. Here we have an example of a polar and non-polar covalent bond. The green area shows the electron distribution around the two atoms. On the left, the electrons are distributed equally between the two chlorine atoms. Therefore, they are being shared equally. On the right, the electrons are mainly distributed around the chlorine atom. That shows the electrons are not being equally shared between the two atoms. On the left, we have two atoms of chlorine. They have the same electronegativity. We have equal sharing of electrons and a non-polar bond. On the right, we have a difference in electronegativity between the hydrogen and the chlorine of 1.0 units. It's unequal sharing of electrons Therefore, we have a polar bond. So we just saw this example of a polar covalent bond. The most electronegative atom, which in this case is chlorine, has a slight negative charge or a negative dipole, which you can see here. The least electronegative atom, which is hydrogen, has a slight positive charge or a positive dipole. On the right here, we have another way of representing the bond. As you can see, the hydrogen has the positive dipole and the chlorine has the negative dipole. And finally, we look at some more examples of polar and non-polar bonds, this time with carbon. So the first one is the carbon to hydrogen bond. The difference in electronegativity is 0.4 units. Therefore, it's a non-polar bond. Our next example is the carbon to chlorine bond. The difference in electronegativity is 0.6 units. Therefore, it's a polar bond. The chlorine has the negative dipole and the carbon has the positive dipole. And the final example is the carbon to oxygen with a double bond. The difference in electronegativity is 1.0 units. It's a polar bond. The oxygen has a negative dipole and the carbon has a positive dipole. So that's all from this video. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet.